What's up you guys? It's Janessa Schroeder with the Danny Hal team back again with another video. Now, it's no question that this year's housing market has taken a turn from the previous years. I've seen quite a bit of confusion in the media, whether it be the news, TikTok, Facebook, Reddit, wherever you decide to get your news from. Today, I'd like to clear up a few common myths that I've been hearing throughout the year. Myth number one. Owners have low rates and will never sell. While it's true that many homeowners have locked in a lower rate from several years ago, reality is life happens and people will always need to move. Families grow, empty nesters downsize. People relocate, retirement draws near. These are all reasons people would need to sell their homes. Myth number two, as rates rise, prices will drop. While we've all wished for interest rates to soften home prices, there's another challenge that we're up against when it comes to home value, which is limited inventory. With resale homes, we saw a 5.4% uptick in March 2023 compared to 2022. It was only a 1% bump month over month. High demand plus scarcity of supply will always drive competitive prices. Myth number three. The housing market will crash just like it did in 2008. This has probably been the most common myth that I've heard this year. The reality is the 2008 crash was fueled by faulty mortgages and buyers taking on mortgages they just couldn't afford. Thankfully, things have changed quite a bit in the lending world. Lenders today are much stricter than they ever used to be. Plus, the average homeowner has over $274,000 in equity in their homes, giving them financial peace of mind while buying. This is a completely different era. Myth number four. It's cheaper to rent than to buy. Let's say you want to buy a home for $300,000 with 5% down at a 7.5% interest rate. If you were to wait six months to buy, you would lose approximately $8,000 in appreciation that you could have been gaining had you bought the home six months ago. If you waited a year, it would be about 15,000. And if you waited three years, you'd be losing almost $37,000 in appreciation. Kansas City's average rent is around $1,130 for a one bedroom apartment. That is over $13,000 going towards someone else's mortgage, all while you're losing appreciation on a home that you could be gaining equity on. The moral of the story is, don't go to media for your real estate news. Ask a local expert on what they think of the current market and what's going on in your community. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.